Welcome to Doug Does Stuff. I'm Doug, and this is my Neo V2 from hell. This thing has been kicking me in the butt, as you know, uh, almost daily. I'll get maybe a good print on it, and then things will go south. Um, so, you know, I got one print the other day, and I finally decided that I guess I'm going to take it apart, strip it down, check it out, and put it back together. Uh, what I've noticed when I took it apart, let me get a light here because we're going to need this over in the dark corner, right? Uh, there we go. Is that my, there's nothing metal on this thing for this to stick to. Oh, wow. Hey, look at that. What I noticed is, I don't know if you can see it in there. Come on. See that? Uh, you're not going to be able to see it. Let's see if I can do it this way. I've already cleaned them. But anyway, there was a lot of junk on these rollers. And I mean like black and I print in white, so it wasn't filament. I mean, there was some filament on there. But anyway, maybe this was uh, too tight on the gantry. This Last night, my stepper motors started making noise when I went to go print. But when it... When I moved the, the, the axes up and down through the uh, firmware, there was no noise. I've tried loosening these up here, running this up, running this down to try and center them. So I get frustrated. And when I get frustrated, I just kind of go for broke and going for broke and disassembling and reassembling and crossing my fingers. Uh, I think I'm going to... I took off the extruder. Maybe I'll try the Sprite extruder again. Fingers crossed. I don't know. Um, I just don't get it. Don't get it. Because, like I said in my other video, my Ender 3 Pro over here, I just hit the print button and it prints. But the problem is, come with me, I'm really close to finishing my multi-board wall. I need one, two, three, four, right? Yeah, one, two, three, four. I need four more core tiles. Then I need two custom tiles, two more custom tiles, and two more custom tiles. And then I have that one up there. So one, two, three, four. If they're 13 hours a piece, that's one day, two days, three days, four days, five days. So it's going to take me, whoop, check that, six days. It's going to take me a week to get all of this done using just my Ender 3. Pro, whereas if I can get this thing to print reliably, I'll be able to get it done in three days. So that's where we're at. Uh, I'm going to get going on stripping this down and trying to reassemble it. All right, so I took off one of the wheels on the top gantry. And I'm going to bring you in here and see if we, I can show you. You see how dirty that is? Let me keep zooming, zooming, zooming. So, it's a fairly, see that, see the wear mark on there? I wonder if I had this gantry too tight, that was the inside, where you can see it rubbing. So, I'm going to flip this around when I put it back together, and I am not going to tighten my gantry as much. I do have to clean this out though. Oh boy, what have I done? I don't know. All right, so I've pulled off all three wheels off of my uh, X gantry. And I got them over here. And like I showed you the first one, right? Pretty dirty. Uh, the second one, oh, look at that. So, you know, I, I'm new to 3D. Oh, you can't see that. I'm new to 3D printing. Um, so knowing and understanding, see this one's not bad, knowing and understanding how tight things are is very difficult, uh, for somebody who's really just new to this. Um, yeah, I gotta find a better way to hold that and spin that and hold the camera. Uh, oh, let's see this. See that rides nice and smooth. Let's see this one. It's nice and smooth. It's just dirty. This one's tighter. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to clean these out. I'm going to reinstall them. I'm going to try and work on my tension. 
And uh, then I'm going to move to the Z-axis ones because I'm fearing those might be the same. So hang tight. All right, so I uh, I use some cleaner. I, I like to use this uh, stuff. I don't know why I just do. Um, I used it, and you blew it out. Just blew it on the surface, and um, that's what came out. There's actually specks of metal in there too. Um, anyway, here they are. See that wear pattern on there? I'm probably sure that means it was too tight. It's not bad. Sorry, anyway. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take these up to the air compressor, blow them out, and put a little bit of a tiny bit of lightweight oil in there just to get them smoothed out. All right, here's just a little update. Uh, I just sat back down, been working on it. I um, taking off the wheels one one at a time, greasing them up, or cleaning them up, using some very lightweight train oil. I know they're probably sealed bearings, but now I can spin these freely, whereas here it doesn't spin, it's very tight. So I got uh, two left to go, and I'm going to put it back together. But I did have to take apart the entire machine to get it off. This is, this is not easy. So hopefully I can remember where all the screws go and everything, but I did do this one. Nice and easy, nice and ooh. No wobble, not super tight, looking good. All right, so I got the printer back together here. Um, I've got the direct extruder put on. I set the E-step to 424.9, and I didn't calibrate the E-steps. I just wanted to see if, uh, if it would print. And so far, I mean, it's only, you know, a minute into it. We have something going down. Um, my noise from my Z motors is gone. So, fingers crossed here. See how this goes.